start spinning, draft out some fiber and twist it to make a leader, or you can use already spun yarn. Tie it to the spindle shaft behind the whorl, then bring the leader around to the front of the whorl. Let the leader spiral down to the pointed tip. Hold the spindle horizontally and turn it anti-clockwise. You will be pushing your thumb away from you to do this. You will be spinning with an S twist. Add twist to the leader between the whorl and the fiber supply. If you are left handed, you will be spinning clockwise with Z twist. Hold the spindle still and draft the fiber. If you need to get the draft going, hold the spindle with your small ring and middle fingers while using your thumb and index finger to support the fiber. Wind on your yarn in front of the whorl, then spiral your yarn down to the tip of the spindle and carry on turning the spindle to add twist. Continue to twist, draft, and wind on. When adding new fiber, overlap it by at least the width of your hand. When you have a tiny ball about the size of an acorn on the spindle tip, stop and pull this little center pull ball off the tip of the spindle. Wind the yarn onto the shaft behind the whorl. To ply on your spindle, you can wind the yarn off into balls, wind the yarn onto bobbins to ply on a wheel, or use the hand wrap technique. Plying on the blackfoot spindle is a bit like purling and knitting. It is not quite so relaxed as garter stitch knitting, but it does work. For right-handed spindlers, remember that you are spinning S-twist, not the more usual Z-twist, so if you ply on a wheel, you will need to turn it clockwise to ply. Mm -hmm.